of you to Lamar Days Wild Boy 5699. Welcome back to another video. Now, two days ago on May 6, 2024, was my 25th birthday. I made a little uh, birthday video and everything. And then yesterday, I went to Taco Tuesday for my birthday. Got a couple of gifts and birthday cake and everything like that, which you'll see my birthday cake on my community tab uh, right when I upload this video and everything. It was a really awesome custom made Blues Clues 25th birthday cake. I wanted to get the SpongeBob 24 25 joke, but Walmart didn't. It wasn't able to do it because they didn't have the license to everything. Uh, the only place pretty much in town to get something like that was the Great American Cookies at the cookie place in the mall, which I'm not a huge fan of cookie cake because number one, I'm allergic, and number two, it makes me really itchy. I'm not really a fan of cookie cake to begin with in general. Uh, I, my go-to cake is vanilla, ca is vanilla cake, vanilla icing, and I'm good to go, and it was actually a really good cake. I still got some left in the fridge, which I'm probably going to eat uh, tonight when I'm watching my shows, more of my hair academia and everything. Like I said, it's Wednesday, so I still got four or five more days till I have to go back to work, so thumbs up for that. But anyway, this is what I got for my birthday this year. I actually got a couple of good stuff that I wanted to show you guys uh, just for the video. I was not expecting to get this much stuff for my birthday. Like, you know, I'm just happy to have friends and family come out to celebrate my birthday. But, you know, 25 is a huge milestone for me, so everybody was able to come out. I had family who moved from California, then moved to Idaho, and then ended up moving... Uh, here or to Alma a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, and we've been seeing them at least every other weekend. Uh, since then, we got a big barbecue. We're going, we're going up to uh, Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Excuse me, Saturday afternoon. So thumbs up for that. So enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So the first things I do want to show you guys is this. Uh, believe it or not, my Nana uh, doesn't go out uh, anywhere anymore unless she's going to the doctor or church. Ever since my grandfather passed away in 2017, she's just pretty much waiting until death. So we invited her and my aunt to come to us to talk on Tuesday. She goes, yeah, I'll come out. So she was able to come out, and she actually gave me, believe it or not, $20. She never gives me. She hasn't given me money, uh, money for my for birthday in a very long time. And it's usually just much for Christmas. But the fact she was nice enough to even give me $20, birth, uh, $20 was really awesome. So I definitely got to use it for food and everything. My cousins from California who moved down here, they sent me a tw they gave me a $25 gift card. And my other cousin gave me a $50 Amazon gift card, which I was not expecting a $50 Amazon gift card. I'm like, holy moly. So I bought more Funkos um, with that. So very, very cool. Uh, the gift cards, there's no money in them, but I'm going to put it back in my wallet, and I'm putting back my $20 into my wallet. As you can tell, I got a DDLC wallet. It's faded out, so I need to go get a new wallet in the future. So the next thing I want to show you guys, my brother's gift gave me this this uh, anime movie that I was actually going to get, but he told me to put it back since he was getting me for my birthday, but it's the 25th anniversary edition of Akira. Uh, this movie, I think, was released in the 80s before coming to America. I, think came, I don't know what year it came to America, but I do know that the people who brought it over here was the Foundation, the people who made my hair acting, high school DXC, and stuff like that. I have not opened it yet, but I plan on watching it. My brother said it is a fantastic movie. It is actually an R-rated movie, so we'll see how it goes, and we'll see what the future holds. That's a very, very cool. And the last things I do want to show you guys is these My Hero Academia Funko Pops. Now, I bought one of them um, at Vintage Dock, and I did get the rest from family and everything. So the first one I want to show you guys is the, first, the one I bought from Vintage Dock uh, that I got, and it's a Hot Topic exclusive, uh, Deku from My Hero Academia, the main character, Mizuki, Idoria, something like that. And this is a Funko Pop of him. Uh, my brother has a shit ton of Funko Pops, and he jokes and joke around saying I'm copying and everything like that. So, uh, I don't know. I have to get a shelf. My room is such a fucking cluster again. But hopefully, we'll, hopefully I'll find a shelf and put that in everything. So, I got a Deku Funko Pop. Uh, the next one I got is the Funko Age Toyin uh, Eagle, uh, Hawk Funko Pop. Fun fact, the person who plays him... Is the new was the new voice actor who played EC in season three and four of High School DxD. Uh, she is now transgender. It goes by they them he, she she her or whatever. Uh, but she actually played this character for a little bit of my hair academia. I don't know if she's still doing it now or whoever. Uh, but anyway, this is the um, yeah very nice Funko Pop and everything. Next up we have is Shoto Todoroki. Now this is one I actually wanted. Uh, I was going to get that vintage stock, but I said, hey, maybe we'll get something for my birthday and everything. So my sister went to vintage stock and actually got these two uh, for me for my birthday. So it's very, very cool. That's where I drop stuff. So, God almighty. I got such a fucking cluster in my room, but it's not even fucking funny. So, but yeah, show it to the road. Okay, of course, I'm going to take the stickers off and everything. I'm going to go ahead and take that off right now. Hang it up on, hang it up on the shelf or something like that. I'm going to take it off on, um, 
Uh, I'll take it off the big screen if you think it's mad. So, but yeah, and the last one I want to show you is actually I ordered this off of Amazon, but I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. But I got a Mount Lady vinyl uh, Funko Pop figure. Uh, believe it or not, Mount Lady's played by Riz Grimmery of High School DXC, Jamie Marquis. Uh, hopefully she'll come to a convention, maybe off some stuff, sign and everything like that. But this is Mount Lady. Uh, uh, Mount Lady's a little. It has a small role in my hair academia, but she's in a couple episodes. I'm like, oh, I like her, so. Uh, so I bought me a big giant fungal for about 20 bucks on Amazon, and I actually have a couple more on the way. I got Sue, uh, back ago, Mina, uh, Momo, and Yuga. So those are the only ones, those are the ones I get. So I may do an unboxing of those or a Funko Pop update video. We'll just have to see when the time comes. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time. I got Mount Lady, Shotaroko, Fukimichi, uh, Deku, Amazon gift card to my wallet, and. Uh, 25th anniversary Blu-ray here of, uh, of Akira. Oh, one more thing I forgot. My parents are giving me tickets to either go to the, uh, for another day of Oklahoma Comic Con, or they're giving me tickets to Creed at the Walmart, and I have not decided. But for my actual, actual birthday, they gave me a $20 gift card to Chili's. Uh, so I definitely know I can get some good, uh, good chips and salsa on that day. So that I'm excited for. Very, very awesome. Anyway, and the $20 my Nana gave me. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, thank you all for the birthday wishes. Thank you all for the uh, birthday videos and shout outs and stuff like that. Really meant a lot to me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, rate it a thumbs up. Check out my social media down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you on the future video. Take it easy.